para makita natin kung talagang kaya niyo na ba. Okay, maiwan sa kasama, kasama ang pasyente ninyo sa bahay, kaya niyo na ba mag-prepare ng pagkain niya. Okay, kasi bakit? Kung mapapansin niyo puro sakit yung ano natin, yung case natin kasi ang nutrition kasama din po 'yon sa care na binibigay natin sa patient natin, right? So, here's our assessor. Hindi kami ang mag-grade sa inyo ni Ma'am Annabel. Okay? We have another nurses, my our colleagues as well. This is Ma'am Lovely and Ma'am Ruth. Okay. Good morning, Ma'am. Military Hospital. So, let's start. Who is the first group? Ah, ito pala, ito pala. Okay, sige, go. Hello, uh, yes. Uh, good morning. Before we start, I just wanted to uh, to give this handout for everyone so that we have a copy on it. All right, guys. Um, group one, uh, the we are the group one, and we are the um, what we are need. To, or, I mean, the patients that are uh, assigned to us is liver cirrhosis. So, of course, as a caregiver, what is the things first things first that you need to do? Of course, food safety. Whenever you prepare the food, you need to make sure 100% that you prepare food safe, 100%. So first thing, you need to sanitize your hands. Wash your hands, sanitize your hands. And then, of course, wear protective clothing such as hairnet, apron, so that it will not also affect your food. Okay, so let's begin. So liver cirrhosis, what is liver cirrhosis? So liver cirrhosis is a late stage of scarring or fibrosis of the liver caused by many forms of liver disease and conditions such as hepatitis and chronic alcoholism. So meaning, si liver, siya yung taga-filter ng mga pagkain na itinitake natin. So as a caregiver, kailangan natin mindful tayo sa pag-prepare ng pagkain. Kasi the moment, every time na nagtitake like alcohol, doon na nagsatart na i-repair ni liver yung liver ka, ah, doon nagsatay i-refer yung mga pagkain tinitake natin. And the moment na nire-refer niya, doon nagsatay mag-damage yung liver. And kapag napabayaan, yung liver cirrhosis, siya yung end. And like, final stage ng sakit na liver. Okay. So this is the normal liver sh uh, show, no sign of scary. Then the moment that you, every time you intake the, uh, like alcohol, fatty fat, food, fatty food This is what happened to your liver. Kasi nire-refer niya yung, yung mga pagkain, yung mga toxic na tinitake natin. Okay, so what is the symptoms? Symptoms can have no, no sign or symptoms until liver damage is extensive. So kapag yung liver na talaga natin is worse na, or na-damage na talaga, doon pala natin makikita yung signs or yung symptoms. Ano ba yung mga sign? Number one, um, Uh, itchy skin. So, makikita rin talaga sa skin. Next, um, fatigue. So, yung mga tao may sakit na liver cirrhosis, mabilis siyang mapagod, things like that. Then also, nausea. And loss of appetite. Nawawalan kumain. So, yun yung responsibility natin as a caregiver. Kailangan natin to make sure na si, si patient natin is na-take niya yung pagkain on a daily basis. So, ano ba yung calories na dapat i-take ni patient in a day? Wait, I have notes. <laughs> the calories that you take, it depends on the, the, the weight of the patient. Like for example, 68 um, kg. So, it consume like 2,400 to 2,700 calories in a day. So, from morning, from morning until Okay, midnight snack, dapat yung pagkain na pinag-prepare natin is equivalent dun sa, sa, sa calories na dapat itake lang ni patients natin. Hindi dapat sumobra. Kasi, again, kapag sumobra yung pagkain na itinitake ni customer, dun mag-start, ma again, ma madamage yung liver. Nati-trigger. Nati-trigger yung, yung, yung liver natin. Okay, so ito pa, yung isa. Pag sobra naman tayo sa mga fluid na in, binibigay natin kay customer, like, oh, sabi, sabi ni, ano, sabi ni doctor, kailangan, ano, watch out natin, so, ano lang tayo, more on liquid-liquid. So, ito yung magiging cause naman niya. Um, fluid accumulation in your abdomen or at ascites. Did I pronounce it right? And then, weight loss. And lastly, swelling in your legs, feet, or ankle, or pamamanas. Pamamanas. Then, causes. A wide range of disease and condition can damage the liver and lead to cirrhosis such as 
chronic alcohol abuse so yung mga tomador yung mga mahilig sa alak kasi sa akin yolo you only live once but your liver just once so lahat ng ayan yung mga masyadong inom ng alak at ito yung mga isa sa nagpo-cause na nadadamage natin yung liver natin then chronic viral hepatitis B, C, and D then oh. Common causes ng mga hepatitis is unsafe sex, um, using a syringe for the others, and oral, like that. Then, fat accumulating in the liver, like non-alcoholic and fatty liver disease. Ano ba yun? Like, yung mga pagkakain ng mga junk foods, mga ganyan, mga fatty, uh -huh. food, fatty. fatty foods, such uh -huh. as yung mga meat na matataka, yan, mga processed food, like yung mga hot dog, longganisa, things like that. Hot food. Then, iron builds up in the body. Cystic fibrosis, copper accumulated in the liver, 44 bile ducts, alpha-1 deficiency, inherited disorder of sugar metabolism. So, of course, yung sugar din, kailangan din natin to watch out sa mga pagkain na i-prepare natin kay patient. Then, liver disease by cause, uh, cause by your body immune system, destruction of bile ducts, hardening and scaring of the bile ducts, infection such as and brucellosis, medication including, yeah. So yung mga, sometimes, di ba, human nature natin, especially tayo mga Pilipino, kapag may sumakit sa atin, ay hindi tayo pupunta ng doctor. Instead, mag, mag, mag take tayo ng medicine without prescribe of the doctor. So yun then is one of the cause na ma-affect din yung liver natin sa mga dosage na ininom natin na gamot. So every time dapat may mga sakit tayo or may nararamdaman tayo, always consult doctor so that we will be able to know what is the right amount of dosage that we will take in a day or on that uh, specific illnesses. Then risk factor, drinking too much alcohol, then being overweight also, so Obesity also, it's all cause, cause of liver cirrhosis. Then, having viral hepatitis. Okay, so let's go to complications and base will... will so we're going to discuss about the complications. Number one is the high blood pressure, the base, the abuse, when it's supply, the supply, the liver, portal hypertension, swelling of the legs and the abdomen. Madali po natin nakikita yung mga complication. Kasi yung visible na mong sana, yun ang pagsalit. Oo, oh, naman tayo. Naman tayo yung buong. Saan o? Dyan, dyan. Naman tayo natin. Saan ang buong? Commercial na muna. This part did you buy? Or I'll tell you ito. Rated PG. Anyway, 
Again, these are the complications. First is the high blood pressure in the veins that supply the liver, and then swelling in the legs and abdomen, enlargement of the spleen, and then bleeding, infections, malnutrition, buildup of toxins in the brain. Yeah. And then bone disease, increased risk of the liver cancer, and acute and Now, the prevention. We uh, JR will, uh, will give us about the prevention. For the prevention, do not drink alcohol if you have a cirrhosis. If you have a liver disease, you should avoid alcohol. Iwasan po natin yung mga alcohol drinks, lalo na yung mga, yung mga alcohol. Even the alcohol-related drinks, it's also not good for the liver. Eat healthy diet. Choose a plant-based diet that's full of fruits and vegetables. Select the whole grain and lean source of protein. Reduce the amount of fatty and fried food to eat. So, like this po, nag-prepare po kami ng pwede po i-usap good for liver. Maintain healthy weight. An X amount of body fat can damage your liver. Talk to your doctor about your weight loss plan if you are obese or overweight. Lagi po na, isa po sa mga factor ng pagkakaroon ng liver. Ano Ah, uh, 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 the risk of hepatitis. Sharing needles and having a pathetic sex can increase the risk of hepatitis D and C. Ask your doctor about hepatitis, hepatitis vaccination. Kailangan din po natin magkaroon ng vaccine about sa hepatitis and Lagi po natin tatandaan yung unprotected, unprotected sex, it can cause also po hepatitis and the needles, sharing needles, it also cause. Before I go and proceed to the food, what to take is, uh, psoriasis can be, uh, eat a liver a friendly diet. Psoriasis can rob your body of nutrients and weaken your muscles. To combat these effects, eat, eat, eat lots of healthy food like fruits, vegetables, and eat protein from poultry or fish. Avoid oyster and other raw selfish, selfish. shellfish because they contain bacteria that could cause an infection. Okay, this are the fruits that we need to take. Apple. Apple is an uh, anti-inflammatory properties that protect you against fatty liver. Next is orange, raspberry, pears, pears, peach, and peach. Peach? 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 Okay, next. Vegetable, broccoli. Okay, broccoli. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli is a safe to eat. It's any uh, and any side effect are not serious. The common side effect of its gas or bowel irritation caused by broccoli is high amount of fiber. Cauliflower, asparagus, tomato, and peas. And potato. Next is protein food. Protein food. Such as egg. Such as egg. Yeah. Yeah. egg. Milk, yeah. bread, yeah. and shrimp, yeah. and tofu. Yeah. Ah. No, no, no. no. Chicken. Chicken breast. Chicken breast. Chicken. Chicken breast. And also nuts. We already have it here. Almond, cashew, 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 cashew. Yes. Wool grain. Wool grain, almond, same like that. 
This is, uh, we have already here breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. That is the food that we need to take. And also there is like how many calories, how many milligrams it will be, uh, it is stated also after. Uh, food to eat for liver, same like, like beverage, like water, coffee, brood, coffee, 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 coffee. Yes. No, sugar, no sugar or less sugar. sugar. Tea, water. Yes. Water yes. is very important. Yes. Then also herbs the herbs. Spice. This is the herbs that we all I, we need to use. Again, salt. No, 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 no salt. Okay, it's like um, black pepper, cumin. cumin. Um, Yes. Parsley. 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 Things like that. Okay, next. Okay, so food to avoid for liver cirrhosis and Ati um, Malin will also discuss about the food that we need to avoid. Go ahead. So, 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 the we prepare for liver cirrhosis patients for the breakfast. So what are the nutrients, um, ingredients for this? It's first dry rolled oats, it's one fourth cup. Then unsweetened soy milk. So on the breakfast that we prepare, it, it's, it has um, soy milk. Then also the fruits of choice, berries, all kinds of berries like blueberries, uh, red raspberry things like that then the calcium for for on breakfast. that breakfast is 119 mg then 1.5 mg for iron vitamin c it should be it should be needed and then again on the soju it's 34 mg okay next for the lunch we prepare bottle gourd but, uh, uh, I mean, what is, the, by the way, what is the benefits of eating um, oatmeal? Uh, benefits is such a source of fiber, especially um, soluble fiber. So whenever you eat oatmeal, it's like um, you will, on your stomach, if you feel like, what do you call this? Yeah. I, no. Wait. Um, so, it's the avoid na mga cholesterol pag every time nakakain tayo ng oatmeal. So, good yan sa mga nagda-diet, sa especially sa cirrhosis kasi wala siyang masyadong um, toxic na pagamit dyan sa pagkain na yan. And, and then, for the lunch, bottle guard or ubo. This one is a bottle guard curry. It's something uh... And this side. Yes. This one is battleground curry. It's contain cumin, the cumin, mustard, curry leaves, uh, and this one is the chapati.